I am just going to make a short little video about a problem that I was banging my head against the wall for. This may not help many people, but it sure would have helped me. I'm going to make a line graph and the legend at the bottom was just not right. So I've got data here. I've got 12 months and then I've got data from 1998 through 2022. And so I did what a person would probably normally do. I just highlighted all of this. And I went up here and I said, insert and line graph. And uh, I got my line graph, although obviously the X's and the Y's are reversed from what I want. So I do this and now I've got 12 months and I've got all the lines. And obviously this is a bad way to format it. You don't need 26 legends in the thing. Uh, but the years were treated like they were another row of data. So you can see the little blue numbers across the bottom. Those are the actual years. And the problem is that I highlighted the word year up in the top corner when I was highlighting my data. So I included that word year up there when I made this graph. So now let's go up here and let's just get rid of the word year. And let's try this again. Highlight all this, insert line graph, and now look at that. I have the years across the bottom. I'm gonna have to switch the axes. And, and now again, it's stupid to have 26 different color lines. Nobody could see anything, much less tell them apart. But I just could not understand why the years were not appearing. And so what was different about this one was I deleted the word year. And then the, the last thing I tried, um, but really this was the best answer was just don't have a word in that top left corner or Excel is gonna treat that first left column like it's part of the data. Even though I got a number like 2000 and then I have numbers like a hundred million, it still wants to include that on the graph and it's not smart enough to figure out that that's a year. So that's the answer. The other thing I tried was highlighting all of it, including here I had the word months, um, you know, merged and centered across all the columns to indicate, you know, those are months one through 12. And if we do it this way, we're going to get something close to as good, but not quite as good. So again, go back here, insert line graph. And, and so now you can see I have the years across the bottom um, and um, go here and switch the row in the column. Um, so let me just change this. So here I included year and months. And so this is better, at least, again, I've got the years, again, stupid graph with 26 rows, but instead of having uh, the month, the numbers one through 12 across the bottom, I just have the word months. Uh, and so what happened is it's, it's graphing the numbers one through 12 across the bottom. And obviously that just looks like a straight line at zero when we're talking about numbers up to hundred and something million. So if you go into the data and just click on that one series of points and delete it, now that's gone, but still it just says months and it doesn't have numbers across the bottom. I could go in there and add some X axis uh, information. But the whole point is I was just trying to figure out how to do this a little more simply. So again, this is probably not something that is going to help very many people. And it was just driving me nuts. And, uh, and it was all because I did what, you know, I just put the data in this table and I had the year there to label the that column and highlighting it and graphing it. Just having that word there makes it, ironically, having the word year here at the top of that column then prevents Excel from figuring out that these are years in this column. So, um, so the moral of the story is do not include the word year in the data that you are highlighting to graph and only uh, just leave that corner alone and you're gonna be fine and, uh, and click on your graph and switch the row in the columns and you know get the graph you were looking for. Again, don't make a graph with 26 rows in it, but uh, it was just a little mystery and that's my solution. So I hope this has been helpful to somebody.